eighty percent of nuclear plants worldwide are of Westinghouse and or General Electric design or manufacture. Well, in two thousand and nine, a company called Toshiba bought Westinghouse, and later in two thousand and nine, another Japanese company, Hitachi, went into partnership with um, with General Electric in its nuclear division. So now the the Coke and Pepsi of nuclear power. Uh, these these two brands are now essentially owned or co-owned in the case of General Electric by Japanese corporations. So, I mean, not only do you have TEPCO, which parenthetically the Japanese government just, and this is just the beginning, uh, provided $12.5 billion uh, to try to bail out because they can't afford to. I mean, the cleanup will cost hundreds upon hundreds, of, and it's not going to, in fact, be a cleanup. Uh, whatever they're going to try to do is going to cause hundreds and hundreds of times more than that. But uh, in Japan, it's not just TEPCO. You have these these two gigantic nuclear corporations that want to sell nuclear plants worldwide. So those officials in Japan uh, now involved in uh, the aftermath of uh, Fukushima Daiichi have a great additional reason to cover up in Japan and cover up in terms of the world uh, right where you are uh, right in Berkeley right in San Francisco right in um, uh, in Oakland uh, there are the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plants it's geologically unstable it's right next to the Scroy fault and I'm looking at a uh, the benchmark report done by this is done by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in this country of the consequences of a catastrophic accident, a meltdown with breach of containment at every nuclear plant in the United States. And looking right here, and I'm looking, and you can just, just uh, the report is called Calculation Reactor Accident Consequences to Crack 2. And if anybody just Googles Crack, C-R-A-C 2, you can see these numbers, and they're not just numbers, this is the projection of people who would die. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president.